I'm gonna be honest, chat. Uh, I, I'm here and kind of ready, but I'm just, I'm just trying to find the instrumentals I used. I, uh, I used to use in the background of all my videos. No, like, like I, like, so like I downloaded it, right? And the name of it, I'm literally like typing into YouTube like verbatim, and like YouTube just like, nah, dog doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Oh, wait, wait. Did we find it? Okay, so I stopped having any YouTube. I typed it into Google. We found it. But yeah, it's this one. This one. Mm. Yeah, this song goes hard, doesn't it? Uh, I was going to find like more, but I kind of want to get this stream started. Uh, so let's just uh, send this on loop. Alright, and then, uh. Alright. Let's just copy and paste this. I kind of want to actually just have my background on for this one, so it's uh. Oh, I accidentally just opened up a whole web page. I'm 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 getting tilted right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, so so far I'm actually undefeated with this deck, but I have like a weird feeling that I'm about to get clapped this stream. Like, you ever just get that feeling you're about to get absolutely demolished? And it's only because you're like trying not to get demolished. I know that made absolutely no sense, but. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this into a deck. This will be on YouTube, so say hi to YouTube, everyone. So how do YouTube? All right, three, two, one. Actually, let me make sure this is low enough. You guys will kind of see how I do my deck decks. Oh, grab them on here. Uh, I can't. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Siphon from Siphon TCG, and I'm coming at you with another deck tech. This will be Tree Folk Spider. And if you guys know about Tree Folk Dash, you guys kind of know where we're getting at for this. This is going to be my Arachne Huntsman build for the ProQuest Season 3, which hopefully I'll be taking into later in the season. I am going to be obviously playing Dash and possibly Fly at the start of the season, but we do have Arachne planned to have a good debut later in the season so let's go and get into arachne and we'll start obviously with the hero ability so everything kind of will become textualized later arachne is a four intellect 40 hp hero just like the rest of them and it reads whenever you play a card with contract the keyword contract you may look at the top card of your opponent's get you may put this on the bottom so for those who played things like magic the gathering this is jace fate so Right here. And I think this ability is very powerful. And our deck doesn't use it as well as other decks might. But I definitely think we will get value from this. Because uh, at the current moment, we don't really have a massive reason to use silver in this version of the deck. Maybe in a later iteration of the deck. If I find consistent use of silver, we can really start to abuse it. But as of right now, we're just using this for the Fate Soul ability. Nothing more. This is the exact same Quimma line as my Chief Frog Dash list. The only difference, obviously, is is the weapon. It's that positive pure fire, and we have two spider bites. And the spider bites are kind of pretty much Kadachis with an upside and a downside. Let's talk about it. So, obviously, it's two red to attack 
has natural goal again. That's pretty cool. Comes in for one. Does have the new keyword as of Dynasty, piercing one. If this gets offended by equipment, it does get plus one, so we'll get boosted up to two. And it's actually when this hits a hero, next time they defend with one or more attack action cards this turn. Keyword is attack action cards. Those cards have minus one while defending. So let's talk about Arachne and spider Bite specifically into this current meta and why I think it's good. Uh, Arachne being able to put very powerful cards on the bottom of your opponent's deck. Also just have the information of what your opponent could have in hand. Just having one card... Uh, in your opponent's hand that you have knowledge of can decide how you play out your turn on defense and really how you want to attack that from a defense standpoint. Obviously, the spider bites, as we are in a very aggressive meta, more often times than not, the negative effect of spider bite will be online. Very rarely will decks consistently be able to ignore it by using non attack action and D Rex, and I think we can play into this very well. The one downside to Spider Bites, obviously, is the efficiency of the card. Uh, it is two resources for one, which is extremely weak and underrate. But the upside of being able to throw at least one Spider Bite and then an attack, I really think can boost up what this deck is trying to do. And you will see with some of the card choices that we have that just off a single blue and one other card in hand, we can do some really cool things. So let's get into the deck. I don't have the deck absolutely divided into anything like I do in normal deck techs. Uh, I'm going to kind of skip around here, so please just kind of follow along. Starting off with the defense reactions. We have three red fate for scenes. Uh, I consider Oasis for a D-Rec. We have three Oasis for Spites. Uh, we have a card that I actually really do think needs to see more play, and I think is really, really cool in this deck. It is Reinforced Lime. Pretty much this makes any single one of your attack actions a unmovable. Which, when we have Chumacher, Hope, Briar turns, we have Bravo, we have Odom, we have Durantian around. Being able to catch your opponent off guard with a reinforced line rather than a natural direct pretty much just bolsters the, the number that you have and can get around certain effects like cards like CNC. Cards like CNC stop you from playing directs, it doesn't stop you from playing instants. So you can freely just block with any attack action card and play reinforced line. You have now blocked out CNC without being restricted by D reacts. I think something like this is super cool. Then obviously we have things like Sigil Solace, Sink Below, two Springboard Somersaults. That's all you got. And we are running red and blue immovables. I do think blue immovable in this deck specifically has more value than it does every uh, most other decks. Honestly, because we do want to shape our blue count uh, pretty nicely, as well as I think that uh, 3 for 5, while it's a little bit blow rate, the upside of having a 3 for 6 I think is pretty good, and a lot of times the 3 for 5 can get you there, either taking no damage or very minimal damage. Some other key cards I want to talk about going back up to the top is obviously we have our poppers. We have 3 Command and Conquer and 3 Findle's Fighting Spirit. Uh, specifically run the yellow one because it gives us the most value. It is a uh, popper, which is the blue is not. But it's not as clunky as having the red. The red leading just as being a single resource. At the very worst, this Findle's Fighting Spirits can turn into a Spider Bite, which, again, while that is technically under 8, it is a car that is not leaving our deck, which is exactly what we want. And having the upside to gain life in certain situations is absolutely amazing. And the two block, I would say more often times than not, isn't amazing. I do think that it is not so detestable that we cannot run it. We have a card of Regicide. The Regicide is a card that I bounce in and out of the deck, at least when it comes to deck building. And while I think this card isn't actually fantastic and what this card is attempting to do rarely will come up, but I do think the fact that it's just a blue block three does a whole lot in this deck. You know what I mean? Uh, on the rare side, where Regicide actually will kill your opponent. Um, commonly with things like Dash, at very low life totals, or certain uh, Phi decks can actually be hurt by Regicide. But rarely is Regicide being the thing that will be played as a card. One card that I have tested out and been very surprised about is Strategic Planning. 
this is specifically for things like Phi. What we can do is we can play strategic planning, put their Phoenix Flame on the bottom of their deck. So that shuts off their Phi, that shuts off things like Rise from the Ashes. Not that they can't be activated, it's just they lose a ton of value. Or in some cases, the actual Phi ability has no value whatsoever. As well as being able to draw a card if for some reason we are empty-handed. This does allow us to end Arsenal card. And then finally we have this round to me. Just a really just good card. It's a blue block three. There's not really much else you can ask for. The downside of your opponent drawing card rarely is punished in this kind of deck. It would be more punishable if we were more of an aggressive deck that's not aiming to block. And your opponent wasn't going super wide to the point where the amount of attacks that they throw at you uh, don't get negated. So let's say your opponent attacks you five times, right? Well, that's five damage that technically is turned throughout the whole entire turn. Unless the cards I sent you are utility-based, the effect of this around me did do that job by also doing stuff for your side. It is obviously a card that you do not have to include in your version of the deck. You can replace this with any generic blue block three. But I do think that this card is good enough and strong enough in, this, in certain situations to make the cut. So now let's go into the Arachnid cards. What we're all here for. We're running Rainbow Annihilate the Armed. In this current meta, it is the best on rate with the mix of good contracts. Now, in the case that we do need to pop our silvers to like maybe draw cards to help maybe get rid of Frostbite or just dig us for like a D-Rex so or something that we can arsenal, right? This is, I would say in most situations, the best thing that we can consistently hit. All decks besides Kano will run attack action cards, or, or besides during the I apologize. Well, more than times not, we're going to get a hit off of this, which is pretty good. It also blocks three, costs one, so a lot of times we can do pitch a blue to spider's bite, swing on line like the armed, things like that. Running Eradicate, another one cost, so this goes into our one card plus blue, being able to have a very nice turn. And what this one is, this just banishes the top X cards. It doesn't get very awkward for the opponent while it's not high in damage or technically the best own rate. The negative effects that this can have is greatly huge. Imagine hitting a Kano with this, right? And they were pitch decking at this because obviously we're a, bit, a little bit of a slower deck. What if you just banish all of their combo pieces? Or you're going into Briar and you just ban banish their Chama Heroic with that they've been uh, saving their life to be able to have and like just have this big five card hand. You just get rid of that and, and multiple cards. This is a card a lot of times they just kind of have to completely block, especially if they don't know that we're on this very defensive, efficient version and they think that maybe we're running attack actions like Shred and uh, Pummel in certain decks. Obviously, it doesn't affect this one, but or Razor Reflex. This is a card that they're going to immediately respect, unless they, again, know exactly what we're up to, which might be given away by our equipment set, but... I do think at this current moment, it, this deck is an unknown quantity, so we might actually get lucky and be able to have our opponent overblock this when it's realistically not doing much. It's just there for kind of show, just like the rest of them are. Leave No Witness, one of the best cards in the deck. There's a lot of decks running red, and being able to take away their arsenal and the top of their deck is a very efficient thing. And it's a zero cost. So the zero costs are actually the most beneficial cards to have, because even if we have nothing else in hand, at the very least, we can throw a zero for four, and we know how powerful zero for fours are in flesh and blood. And being able to hit the arsenal, absolutely amazing. Running red and blue punter the poor. This one is a banish opponent's card with one or less cost. This is something that we can frequently hit. And again, this is just a zero for four that blocks three, just like the rest of them. Sack the Shifty. Sack the Shifty has base cards go again as its contract. Not a card that you'll hit, a contract that you'll hit very often, but occasionally you can, and it is nice. Uh, this is just to be another zero for four, or zero for two in this case with the blue. Block three, this is pretty much everything you're wanting. And I think this can get very awkward. Obviously, no one really wants to block two damage, right? But when this damage is removing a card from their deck, you know, things can start to actually get a little bit dicey for your opponent. Especially if they're a glass cannon deck, like a Fi that goes through a lot of cards, like a Lexi that goes through a lot of cards. Or, God forbid, you go against a Dash and you send this out. This is like one of the most brain-melting cards for them to 
Gogan, uh, Gogan's right. Not that the fact that it has the base Gogan, because that doesn't really affect anything. It's just the fact that it's very awkward damage that has a negative effect for their specific deck. Dashes will oftentimes let this hit. So this is not only chip damage that's going through, this is now actually blocking in utility because this is taking out a card from their deck. You know, that you know that red zipper hit no longer can come at you because it's gone. And that's all because you dealt two damage. You negate four damage by dealing two damage. And I think something like that is just absolutely wonderful. We have Slay the Scholars, another 0 for 4. You see the trend here. We like to pay, play 1 and 0 cost. We don't have any 2 costs in here besides 1 card that you kind of just have to play because the card's just that good. This is Slay the Scholars. This is Banish Opponent's non-attack action cards, which will come up in a few matchups, but not a very common contract to hit. And this is just like all the other ones banish the top card of their deck. And the key thing with all these, like I keep repeating, is just the efficiency of it. The 0 for 4 with a negative effect for your opponent. If you banish a key card, that's a lot of damage and stuff that can be safe for the later of the game. And honestly, like I told you guys earlier, again, I'm repeating the same things. I'm hoping this is really starting to... You guys are really seeing this deck idea shape in the form, right? Contract, as I said earlier. Contract, we get to see the top card of the opponent's deck. We can control what they draw. That's just the absolute value that these cards have. This card does not have to hit to do its job. If you play this and they block it out, first of all, you got cards out their hand. Let's talk about that. You got cards out their hand. And if this hits, absolutely amazing. You got you did damage and you removed a card off the deck. You just get the knowledge of playing the card because it has contract. And all these cards block through. We see the synergies really starting to pile on now. We have the only two costs in the deck, which is Surgical Extraction. You gotta run Surgical Extraction. It's just a good card. With the amount of decks up in their blue counts or playing things like Minnowism, you can't hit this card more often than times than you think. And saying, if this hits, I'm not only going to remove the top card of your deck that I may or may not have knowledge of. I'm now going to look at your hand and take away a card. Imagine your opponent is trying to play a Chama Heroic and you get to look at their hand. You just take that Chama Heroic away. And it's gone. It's banished. It's not put on the bottom of the deck. It's not put in the discard that maybe they can record. It is gone in the banish zone. So currently, without chain in the format, where there's no real uh, interaction with the banish zone. So these cards are permanently gone to never return. And I think that is absolutely something fantastic. Obviously, it is the least efficient card. Because it's a 2 for 4. But I think the upside uh, that this card brings definitely makes up for the cost so you guys now see the overall idea of the deck we want to block very efficiently come back on a turn with a zero or one drop being able to spotters about our opponent have one mana floating send a one cost block up with our own to our hand play a zero for four and just get this innate value that our cards bring I hope you guys do enjoy this deck. This is a deck that, at, again, at some point later in the Proco season, I will be playing, and I will have some gameplay videos on the YouTube channel. But let's go ahead and get into it live. So if you guys are here live watching this, let's go ahead and get into the game. But you guys are watching this on YouTube. Go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to see more content like this. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. It's Randy Boy Simon from Siphon TCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Now let's get into some games. And, and there, I probably should have just recorded that and streamed it, and then just turned off the record button. I'm not gonna lie, I, 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 I might not be that intelligent. Uh, so I already have the deck link copied. Let's. Uh, there, I don't think there's actually a lot of games going on right now, so this might be. May not be a big. Oh my god, why is it? Hold on. Try to have my name on there. I'm, I'm logged in, right? By the way, can we talk about this? These are so inaccurate. So, you might be looking at this like, Jesus Lord, Isaac, your win rates are horrible. No, so here's the issue, right? Just in the last week, I've played more than five Bravo games. Where is it at? Where is it at? I've played more than two Odom games, trust me, because I did a lot of testing with a friend. 
I played 10 Odom games into them, right? I have played a crap ton of Prism when they're right before she got banned. I played a lot of Prism. Really? I was going to take this deck to a calling, and I only played five games of it. And I did, my, I was not 60%. I lost a crap ton with it. Yeah, and here's, and here's this, here's this. I have more than 43 games on my Talos chart, and I was at an 80% win rate at some point. How in the world? 50 candle games? No, I don't. And I have more than 7 wins. I have like 60 or 70 now, and my win rate is still not that great. But it's 43 dash games, really, and I've only won 19, really. I've won more than it says I've played. And why does my Bolton win rate track? No, like I, I hate this so much. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my lord, there's so many games that popped up. Let's see if we get a game. Oh, we're getting to Kano. Well, that's good slash bad. Uh, unfortunately, I think Kano has a pretty good matchup into Arachne. And I can't actually sideboard effectively into, into Kano, unfortunately. So I gotta take a bunch of cards out and see what I'm putting back in. It's... It's not going to be great. Um, oh, Jesus Lord. Like, like this kind of deck is not meant to fight Kano. Which is a... don't want to say it's a downside, but th that is something I did overlook, is the Kano matchup. And how poor it currently is. Uh, so obviously we're out the yellows, and then... I don't even know. Everything else is just red. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I guess I just put in a fate for scene. I, I don't really know. It's, I'm just, I'm just sad everywhere. Alright. Uh, who's going first? Player one? I don't know who player one is, to be honest. I, I assume it's him, because I don't think I picked. He's choosing to go first, which is interesting. I would much rather go second. That's Kano in almost all matchups. Oh, I can actually put the playlist on now. Lessons all for four reds. Hmm. Okay, I see. So he's trying to Kano into something very specific. Um, he could try to Kano and take the wildfire just so he can get an earlier arsenal. But because it's not running something like Tunic, that, that would seems like a weird play. Um, I am going to AB3 this. Uh, obviously, just so he can't search for certain things, he's only limited to one less. He grabs a tome. Okay, so he's going to KO to the tome. Which is, I don't know if that's something I would do. Uh, I guess what this allows him to do is allows him to technically just dig. He just sees more cards overall. So, I, I guess now thinking about it out loud, I, it can't, it's not that horrible. It's not that egregious. Fortunately, his draws were absolutely horrible. Running Centering Foresight, which is... Okay. I mean, I only really like I only like running Centering Foresight into very slow matchups, and then he just Arsenals. Okay. So, he did pitch to Kano, so he left something on top. Okay. So, let's see. How are we thinking about this turn? Uh, I clearly... I do want to attack their Arsenal here, so I'm going to try to le end with leaving a witness. So, what's, uh, what's under pitch here? So, we have some mana floating, just in case. So we're just gonna start poking them down, and obviously the on hit here doesn't actually do anything. Hello? There we go. Uh, we do get to Arsenal card, which is pretty nice, so it's not really an, an imp super impactful card. This is just in case we have to use our own to our hand. Uh, I do wanna, I do wanna put that tunnel on the bottom of the deck. I, something I could have done is just uh, leave it on top and force him to cannon, but I don't want him to cannon into that. Uh, so we do also want to see what cards have been used, because it's going to be impactful. So we have three lists, in, we have a less on lava used, we have a blazing aether you lose, which is pretty good for us. The one really nice thing about Kano is he can block very efficiently, he can block with two cards and uh, still return a decent amount of damage. Huh. If we're going to like this game goes, this is going to be just absolutely horrible for us. 
Wow. Yeah, Nathan Swindle was really fucking good against us. It was like one of the worst things that we could have seen there. Might look to surgical. Uh, it's probably correct to surgical, actually. Uh, to pitch to surgical. Save this for second rotation if we make it there. I doubt we do, but just in case. This is the one unfortunate thing I um, that this deck has the downside of, unlike the control dash, is I'm on the TCG Discord too. I've seen your name before. Oh. Discord? I don't know which Discord he's referring to. Ah. I try to be. send the stack to shifty and like putting like the sickle solace in arsenal i think that's probably correct we definitely want to get this uh swimmer somersault like out of here like just out of here um yeah unfortunately i can't pitch to spider bite again so we're just going to do stack to shifty importantly getting this to, uh yeah i think that's fine I might, he probably won't Kano into it, because I think he's most likely smart enough to not do something kind of stupid like that. I mean, obviously there are, well, there will be times where that is something applicable. Uh, one downside to only saying two is he can cleanly block with one card and then get to have, like, a bigger turn. But, uh, this is not gonna, this is not a race. This is definitely a little bit of a marathon. We, oh, whoa. Okay, so I don't think he's caught on to what our deck is. He hasn't caught on to what our deck is yet. He just blocked with two cards. That's literally the best thing we wanted to see. I I could not be happier with that play. We get an Aether Wildfire out of him. So that's uh, one of each combo piece out. I mean, obviously we can tell that he most likely has an Aether Wildfire or a Lessons in Lava and Arsenal. So it doesn't really amount to much. But that is still very nice to see. And that play could lend, make him lend to believe that we do have a reaction of some kind in the arsenal. But obviously, arsening an attack reaction is not the smartest thing to do. You would rather just put an attack there. Wow, and he put that. That's really good. So we're going to see him Kano again. He did just I, so he knows what it is, most likely. No? Okay. I assumed he knew what that was, but I guess I'm wrong there. We're going to start with Spider Bite. We can definitely end this turn with an Eradicate, which is going to be cool because we'll definitely get cards out of his hand. Uh, we want to keep pitch that blue. We want to make sure we have blues at the end of the game. Uh, we don't get pu we do get punished a little bit more than other control decks are having a bunch of blues, um, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we could get this card off Arsenal uh, as well. We don't have to eradicate here. Hmm. I think just keeping this zero, I th think, is pretty good. Alternatively, we can get rid of this red, as obviously just having like red is not amazing. Uh, I don't think we're in a position to where we can confirm this hit, but let's actually just send this out. We'll have one floating, one card hand, one card in Arsenal. So this could lend him to blocking in a very specific way. Because this is a card that came to just ruin his game. And we're going to click no. So we're going to indicate we would like to get rid of this card. So this may lend him to Kano Inc. Which he is currently not. He is just going to block. That is two Blazing Aethers gone. Which is 
absolutely huge. That's two of them gone. Obviously, he can... Wait, is it not two of them gone? Oh, yeah, I didn't break the chain. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to see there. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, obviously, he also is keeping his health love total high, and sometimes that is just the card that has to go. Uh, this is going to come in for four here. There's not really much we can do about it. Uh, we can. I will stop three, because I don't feel like letting him reduce something by two. That just doesn't seem like an amazing strategy. Uh, what's more relevant here? I mean, probably keeping the plunder of the poor. Alright, so he's, he's going to manage some. He's going to cost one less. I mean, there's a lot of blue zero drops in that deck, so... Uh, oh, yeah, we put the scarring around. I totally forgot we put the scarring around on top. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I'm not really bit by this whatsoever. I can just let this hit. I mean, I'm still at 37. Like, I'm a deck that is going to be very hard to kill. Like, I legit almost put, like, healing bombs in this deck just like Chief Hulk Dash. Honestly, I thought I was smoking a little too much by doing that, but... I mean, just be able to do stuff like that against... Oh, heck no. You are not getting Sonic Boom. That is just too much value for my deck to handle. Like, Sonic Boom is probably your weakest yellow in Kano. Give me two cards. Give me two cards. Yes. But yeah, it's probably like your weakest card, yellow card in Kano. But... And this deck where I obviously can only stop AB3. Um, and he can always confirm one. And if he has this deck built in a certain way, it's usually always a positive hit. Uh, obviously, I'm just going to go boop, boop. We are kind of shields down in that moment, but with that kind of hand, he's not really going to be able to punish us too hard. And if he does choose to, he's giving up a lot on his turn, which is something we would like to see. Seeing him Keno um, on his turn does indicate that either has a card he wants to specifically keep, or... His uh, hand is not fantastic to throw back. We have double away, so it's just spite. This is kind of weird. Um, I'm not actually a fan of having double away sister spite. Uh, because he knows we're most likely an away sister spite deck, he might do the double with our wildfire combo. Which, in that specific instance, it's actually really good. Uh, but obviously, that is not something I would enjoy counting on. Second e pod is not fantastic to see. Uh, part of me wonders if I should put Spell Void in my, what's it called? Sigil makes me sad. Yeah, that's, well, that's what the plan is. We don't do it to make you happy. We do have two floating, so we actually could play both if for some reason he tries to go off. I doubt he does. Maybe once he sees us lose our arsenal card, he knows it's not like an arsenal Oasis Respite. And new sir, no tome for you. Give me two cards. Oh yeah, dude, that sucks. I have to run Singe in Oh. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That's a fucking hit, man. That's a really good... So he has one lesson left in the deck, right? He has one lesson, one Blazing Aether. Two Aether Wildfire. But uh, we haven't seen this card move in a minute, so again, we can just assume that that's what that is. But I'm probably going to try to play in a way where I can keep this double Aether Spite, actually. Um, I think the smart thing for him to try to do is attempt to mini combo us. So, like, if he has, like, if he just draws it. God, how does he f keep getting fucking tomes, man? If he, <laughs> if he can actually, <laughs> he just, I'm just trying not to lie. It's just like, man, he just keeps getting tomes. But uh, if he can get, like, a random Aether Wildfire, he can actually just pull off a Striderless combo with, like, this is Ragger Map and Tat. Trying to act like a pseudo Striders and try to bait out our Oasis just by it. Oh, okay. We are going to probably see four damage come through, minimum. Uh, 
Now that this Oyster Spites is uh, in our snow, it's going to be very hard for me to do much. What do we see here? See a Swell Tidings? That's, uh, that's fine. We'll happily just get rid of the blue there. Uh, there would have been an argument. There is probably an argument for getting rid of that. That's all you got there. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, I don't think it actually changes our turn significantly enough to where I get punished for it. But obviously, if you want to make the most efficient play, obviously using the blue there, taking one extra damage just to ensure that you can spot us by and do that is obviously a little bit better. Nope, we want to keep that on top. Obviously, him having guaranteed blues does suck. Because, like, the one, like, really big downside of Kano is if you draw a bunch of red hands. But just keeping away from damage in the combo pieces, I think, is very important. Alright, it's another Mirror of Scoding. So he's running a lot of Mirror of Scoding. So another Swell Tigers. Jesus Lord, man. Calm the f*** down. Uh. Uh, that's, that's, that's so awkward, man. Ah, uh, that's so awkward. We're going to pitch the blue there. Oh, man. If he ever has, like... Do I ever tunic CNC him here? Is that ever a thing I do? I think it might be. Because there are some two blocks in Kano, but... Obviously, there's plenty of three blocks. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll test his hand out a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to double oyster spite here, so we could get severely punished. Uh, I'm just kind of counting on him not being able to go off here, but two e pots. All right, cool. Uh, uh, uh. Are, are we live? Do we? Do we just? Do we just see this? I, uh, I don't know what, I'm just, I, I just, I don't really know what just happened. I, uh, I, uh, huh. I don't play the strategic planning, by the way. Uh, I'm also going to take the walk to Poland. By the way, I wonder if he's tracking my hand, like he sees this card, like he, I wonder if he just knows that I have double oasis. Um, probably just grab the Eradicate here, because it's like the most awkward card for him. Oh, what? Ah, ah, oh, he didn't mean to do that. Again, we are going kind of semi-shields down here. He doesn't know we're going shields down by doing this. Well, we are going shields down by doing the Spider Bite. It doesn't really change, again, it doesn't translate into much, because it's just one damage. It's going rain, you can have it. I wonder if he notices my pattern. If it's a blue, I keep it on top. I, I wonder. Alright, he covers it up. That's fine. But yeah, we can do this two-car block the whole, all day, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, please. Oh, God, no. Please, no. Oh, uh, the other is the only one in the deck, dude. Please don't let me get clapped. Please. The one thing I do need to look out for is if I draw the third Oasis Respite, it kind of becomes bad. That is not something I need to see. I don't need to see the third Oasis Respite. Hmm. Not gonna lie, all these cards are kind of just bad. These cards are all bad. It's going to AB2, get rid of this, get rid of that. Fortunately, I'm going to have no way of ever using that paper scene, so it's a card that's infinitely just going to be in my deck. 
that might be something I actually look into with this deck is is there a way that I can not have to have that blazing aether I'm actually going to keep that on top this could make his hand like really awkward if he just has that in hand oh, I can't big brand him here unfortunately Honestly, giving him the Blazing Aether is not amazing. But overall, I think I'm probably fine. I doubt that there is a major punish. I could obviously be wrong and get punished. Uh, even though it's a little efficient, I'm just going to pitch both of them here. Uh, I mean, we know this is a Blazing Aether, so what this also allows is this allows us to track his hand. So we know one card is Blazing Aether. But again, obviously we, we have the Oasis Respite. Sonic Boom. Yes, we would like to put that on the bottom. Could attempt to go off here. But again, he has to assume this is an, a respite. Like, what in the world could, else could this be? Okay, so yeah, he's going for it. This is kind of unlucky. Yeah, maybe he's putting the Blazing Aether on top. So he's going to hope he gets some zero drops. Rexy, yeah, so he's going, he's going off this turn. Uh, I think I don't know the amount of resources he has. He's probably fine. I would have liked him to see if he see him resolve a candle first, just to ensure he can go for it. Because if you like banishes like a two, like a two drop, that's not a wildfire. It could mess up the number, his numbers. Man, it's just somewhat. Unlucky. Okay. Uh, nah, I don't know. Yeah, he's not gonna evolve extra resources, so he's probably not pumping in a metacarpus on a ton. Probably just like one more time. He's not going for a lesson, so he actually may not need it. I'll leave this other respite, just in case. Um, we'll use the one from Arsenal, obviously. Oh, RIP. I mean, I had it in Arsenal. I don't really know what he wants me to do. <laughs> I don't know what he wants me to do. Oh, uh, GG. Uh, I mean, that game was just kind of... I mean, I had a noise just despite, but like, I, I kind of had one the whole entire time. Ooh, this is interesting. Like, I think I'm day fair in the last matchup, but they, if they just, they could always just get there, you never know. Um, so I'm going second, which is actually fine for me. Uh, sideboarding is something I haven't totally, um, agreed on this deck. Uh, also, I think a reinforced online, uh, isn't great here, because I also have a few instances when they have, like, Pounder out, they're not going super tall. Uh, Oasis is probably not something that I'm interested in in this matchup, unfortunately. Um, I do want to, keep extra cards in my deck. Uh, we can go down to... One immovable just in case, maybe. Could just we could entirely cut it. I wouldn't be against it. Or could do actually just do I could do something like this. I keep one and one. Do what? Like what? What do you? I don't know what you're question marking. I'm sideboarding. I don't know if he doesn't just know what sideboarding is or something. Sorry that I'm trying to not just run 71 cards in you. My bad, dog. I'll do better next time. I'll do better next time. 
We don't need the other planning. Alright, this is probably fine. Alright, now you need to press start on your end. Uh oh. I'm low-key about a question. If if my name wasn't on here, I, I probably would have question marked them. Yeah, but he's running, you can see he's running 64 into us. He gets, he gets a turn one pounder, which is absolutely horrible for us, but he's, uh, oh, oh, this guy. Oh, okay, he's trying to get counters and stuff, then pounder. That, no, that, that's actually fine. As much as I want to hit him with a question mark, I'm not going to. Oh, he wants to attack? Okay, there we go. I was, was going to say, if you want to attack now, I mean, be my guest. Uh, we, w we would like to keep it surgical, but <clears throat> I'm a little interested in more of an efficient attack, so I'm going to try to double spider bite him then then attack. And obviously we get the respect off the bat by getting a card. I, that's really the best thing ever. Let's fire bomb again, see if he gives us that respect again. And a uh, cool thing for him is we're going to do this literally the whole entire game. Uh, so now I'd like for you to give me your equipment. Uh, no. I want you to, I want that pounder, I want that powder gone. Oh, he's going to draw the pounder, god dang it. He actually crowned here. I guess that crowning there is fair, because if I left a card on top, it's probably a good card. Wait, did he not draw the pound? Am I, wait, am I stupid? Did he not crown? Did, I, it's very late, and I just got off work, so I might be a little stupid here. But, like... I swore my life. Dude, I think I might just be high right now. There's there's a, there's a smaller chance I'm high. I don't even smoke, but even still, there's, there's a chance. Oh, cool. Uh, CNC? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll definitely take a CNC. Alright, would you like to attack me again? Oh, wait, I just realized. So, wait, wait, hold on. He crowned. Did, is it, is the draw card optional? I, I think I might be tweaking right now. There, there's, I, I, I don't know, it's, I don't know. He blocked with crown of providence. Did he just like, oh, was it like, is it, Oh, you may. Maybe he just didn't... I'll have to look back at the footage. Maybe he just didn't actually crown anything. But then why would you block with crown? Instead of just cards from your hand. I, I don't... I don't... I'm just trying to figure you out, man. I'm just trying to figure this guy out. Oh, he had a spark. Well, that's just lucky. Sometimes they just have it. Uh, but I'm about to have the stance, unfortunately. With, uh... With his deck. Alright, would you like to block this uh, spider bite here? Would you like to block the spider bite? You're not going to block the spider bite. Really? Alright, eradicate. Keep it on top. Alright, four. I'm going to need two cards from you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. And come back with scramble. That is fine. So we can, I don't think, am I just blocking with three here? So I can, how, how much for double spire by into CNC? That's what, two, four, six? So I'll block with the red. I can block with the red, and I can, that's all you got. Or, uh, I can, actually, I think it's pretty smart. That's how you got the pistol. Because I, I net, I net a card. Lembris T. It's in the game. That's my uh, that's my advert for uh, EA Sports. EA Sports. It's in the game. 
Just gonna curl up with this blanket here. Be in for the long haul, brother. All right, would you like to close the combat chain for me? Would you like to close this combat chain? This fucking guy, I swear on my life. This fucking guy. Well, we actually draw a sink below. That's neat. That is neat. So we actually get the arsenal sink below. That is so busted. Oh, I think he's messaged me again. Ah, he's, he's spamming me. Ah, nerd. Give me that card. Oh, oh yeah, give me that card, baby. Oh, and it's a blue. No. You side against it. Uh, why don't we just side against it again? Because it's going to come at you again. You're eating it. God, he has not an arsenal, which is awkward. It's just damage, though. I think this is actually fun. It's inefficient, it kind of is, because I'm not actually attacking anything. I now have the health lead, which does turn off my skull cat, but I don't think I plan on blocking my skull cat anytime soon. Um, I do kind of get where he's also come from. Like, he needs to actually return, like, meaningful damage. Because if he just tries to be, like, quote unquote efficient at the entire game, he's going to lose that race almost every time. So, I'm probably going to actually just. Oh, I, I meant to sync the card. Yeah, it's whatever. If anyone else he sends my way. Because I was thinking about just sending uh, Findle's Fighting Spirit at him. Because I'll probably be lower than him. That's where I could sink into a blue is kind of what I was wanting, but I didn't really feel like backing up. I could pitch a blue Spider's by Annihilate the Armed. Actually, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all, actually. I don't hate that at all. It's non-vanilla damage, so, like, I probably... Ooh. You coming in, dog? Coming in? Let's go. Uh, I mean, you're doing that against an Arachne. I don't know about that. And you banished your pounder. What a clown. Go ahead and uh, put your clown shoes on, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and block. It, it's kind of nice, because I'll get in life, too. Mm-hmm. 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 This guy. I mean, that's a turn with no arsenal, though. So the explosiveness of his hand isn't massive. All right, would you like to block this? No. All right, how about this five damage? Oh, oh, oh d uh, straight up, straight up. No, this is all you, dog. Nah, it's all you, you can have that. He's definitely gonna boost it away, but like, you can definitely have that. <gasps> Wait, sink, please sink below, please sink below. Oh, thank God, please, 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 please. Oh, he's fake. Did he actually get the op one? I don't know if he actually got the op one. I, I need to I need him to draw that unmovable and just hate his life. I need him to hate his life. Oh he's oh. Oh. Oh really? That is not what I would have done, but obviously he's just he's just built different anyway. I'll double block this. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll take the CNC. I'll take the CNC. Uh, we don't get the spiders by end turn attack, but I do get the throw zero for four and then arsenal card if I so choose. I could choose to block. Um, he's gonna get this go again guaranteed, so I'm probably just gonna eat this first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for our card advantage-wise, we're not insanely ahead as we would like to be. Yep. Just want to shoot it again. 
Um. Uh, I would like to keep my life total high, but I think swing here, getting cards out of his hand, and getting arsenal cards is a pretty good tempo swing. We we'll do sack the shifty throttle. Yeah, I, I don't want him to have that red. That's a lot of damage. He just takes it. Okay. Well, we, we get rid of a Spark of Genius. That's nice. Hey, a blue block three. There's nothing else important about this card except it's a blue block three. Alright. Has, an, has another red throttle. Uh, it's a was that, is that the third scramble pulse? Or does it come in multiple colors? Okay, not the third scramble pulse. At least red. If for some reason it comes in more than red, then I, I, guess, I, I guess you got it. I mean, I think we just block out if we have to here. He's not being as aggressive as... But I like... post we from going away is massive. That's that's really good. I like I like this. I like what we're seeing here. Uh, I can Tunic Eradicate. That's why I'm keeping that. I just want to see what he tries to do here. Alright, he's going to get rid of two cards. That's cool with me. You're doing part of my job for me. Sink below. Wow. Wow, that's just two D-Reacts. Dude, that's tough. That's why I hate putting D-Reacts in that version of the deck. This kind of feels bad. Um, he did not boost. He did not boost. Oh, we're going to block out, block up here. Try to keep life totals similar. They don't have to be the same, but they just need to be similar. Alright, uh, let's see, what are we trying to banish? Non-attack action cards. Well, that's definitely an attack action card, but that's an efficient one, so... We're going to go ahead and put that to the bottom. Four damage to the dome. Yes, sir. That's a high octane. Wow, we actually got very, very fortunate there. High octane's a card that's really hard for us to deal with. Mostly because... You know, I'm not even surprised. Did not grant go. <laughs> oh, really? It's like that, huh? That's still absolutely hilarious, though. I would spell that. See if we can draw blue. We all sink. We all know the sink. I mean, I guess that's fine. Dude, you just keep it. That's another post we ever did. You were just. I don't know. T today's just not your day, man. This is not for you. Today is just not you, man. This is this is not for you. Uh, let's see here. This is too cost. I think we sync this and try to find a blue. So we can surgical. I think that's probably correct. We get two cards out of them. Or we do find it. I'm going to actually Tunic and Spider Bite him before it happens. Alright, so we're going to take a lot of damage from from uh, the pistols here. There's not much we can really do about it. I mean, I could tap out, uh, remove all the cards from my deck, but from my hand, rather. It's just not extremely efficient to do so. So we're going to uh, Spider Bite. Takes it. Sweet. So it's not going to make this awkward for him. Paper scene. Now you got it. That's all you, man. If you want to protect that paper scene. He just takes it. No way. After leave a card on top. Oh, yeah. He drew that movie. He just kind of... Wow, he drew two of them. Jesus Lord, man. Hey, man. You got four and eight. I'm pretty sure you blocked it. Alright, 060. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Dude, this guy is actually so unlucky. It's crazy. Alright, so what are we looking to do? What are we looking to do on our turn? 
Oh, we're not lethal armed, right? Uh, we'll, we'll block up there. We'll probably just start with a single Solus. Cheer like a D-React. Oh, dude, this guy is so unlucky, though. Like, he's, he's getting absolutely clapped by his deck. He's letting that hit dog? Alright. Induction Chamber? Oh, actually, absolutely. Give me this card. Give me that. Give me that. I don't know. Don't damage you and got rid of that. Easy clap, dude. Okay, third hog ten. Here we go. He's gonna come back on any turns. Gonna be a turn like this, but uh, we do need to keep a count of his deck. His deck is getting very low at this point. Hey, <laughs> God, you got so many D reacts. You're playing boost dash. Why are you doing that? Cause like you can't even call this hybrid. I don't think I'm, I definitely don't think hybrid plays this many D reacts. Oh Jesus, man. I I kind of just feel for the guy at this point. I mean, he's getting an action point either way from it. Dude, I was about to say, if he just banishes another one, I think he just quits. Uh, this is going to be a turn we can actually block with armor. We have a turn that can do so. We also have a blue. We actually, if we, if we get to keep the cards in our hand... It's going to be a really good turn for us. Oh, well. RIP that idea. Unfortunately, you do have to show them both. And, I mean, this is not horrible. We get to block. Yeah, I mean. That kind of says what it is. Dude, activate Technofoundry or activate it. You know you want to. There's no way he actually did. I was joking. I mean, it's, it's going to translate into some extra damage, but... This, in every world, just does not seem right. I mean, I, I guess maybe he's thinking the 13 cards he has here will translate to enough damage, but there's a lot of blues. There's, there, there's not a lot of damage in there, I don't feel. Hey, break that chain for me. Break that chain for me. My boy. Yeah, skull cap blocks for three, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, we're just going to simply just throw this plunder at him. Fate for scene? Hey, you got it. That's all you. You can have it. Now, are you going to block this two damage? you going to give me a card? you going to give me a whole card when you're at 11 life? And let me banish the card the other way? Like, it's a lose-lose for him at this situation. Like, I'm never going to kill him. He's going to deck out before I kill him. But now, like, me leaving the card on top just makes it an interesting decision. So he just blocked to keep a uh, favorite scene. Just want to point that out to everyone. Not a fantastic look. BIOS update? Sure. You're about to banish a favorite scene. I just want you to know. You just banished a favorite scene. Good job. Good thing you boosted. Good thing you boosted. Um, Spock. Let's, block. Let's get blocks here. Let's get blocks right there. We'll overblock this. This is fine. We do need to preserve our life total. Uh, I'm gonna tunic. Uh, I want a spider bite him here, see if I can get a card. Oh, just eats it? Hey. Alright, so uh, I know I'm not attacking your arsenal, but can I get that arsenal spot? That doesn't exist. Taking it. Oh, let's go! Six cards left in the deck, buddy. It's getting a little, uh... You're actually getting a little tiny. Can you get through 10 health, though? I mean... Do you have enough damage in your deck to go through 10 health? I think you might just seem to start pistoling me. Like, I don't... I don't know if he can afford to boost. At all. He still opts to boost. What an absolute crazy person. I'm just going to take one. Like, yeah, he's going to get dominated, but we have d -Rex. And, like, if it's, like, a blue, it doesn't matter. It's a red. Or do we do a room. I do remember that. So, I'm actually just going to move that. Like, so we're not even, like, punished for giving him dominate. Oh! <gasps> no! 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 Not the disconnect. Oh. 
Unfortunate, man. Wow. Alright, let's just leak DMs real quick. Huh. All right, let's see if our opponent comes back. Maybe we're just misunderstanding our opponent. By the way, I just this is the one thing I do like this. We can actually sing like. The turn, turn to turn cycle, right? We can look at this. So, like, look at the damage dealt. All right, we just slowly chipped them down. All right, and let's look at how many turn cycles we won, and then look at the state of the game. We won turn three. That was like what spider bite, spider bite, and CNC, right? I think, right? He just took it all. We won one, two, three, four. We only won four turn cycles, so he won 11, but seven. He won seven, so he won three more turn cycles than us. But look at the game. He, the some of the turn cycles he won, he won by like look, look look here look here. He won it by one. He won it by one, like three. Whoop de do, right? But the thing, the thing about this matchup is just the amount of cards that are disappearing from his deck. Yeah, I've only th I've I've actually threatened lethal. Technically, right? I've threatened 50. He's probably done like 100. Um, but it's just the rate that we do. We do it. We, we, we make things very awkward for our opponent, obviously. And uh, and this is a good matchup. Like, our opponent does do half the work for us. Let's see, let's see look at this. Look at this. I haven't played. Uh, look at this. I've played more than six games of Arachne. Dude, I hate this game sometimes. I hate this game sometimes, I swear I do. But uh, I did want to... Uh, I'll probably upload those two games for the YouTube. So, uh, I'll kind of just... Probably just mess around with the rest of it. Oh, was there? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a. How much are footsteps by right now? Wow, well, they've actually went down to 168. I remember at one point the red rules were 250. I mean, obviously, Dromai is like the only deck that can play right now, and Dromai is not fantastic. Let's play like one game of Blitz. I'm throwing it. Wait, what? Is this for a band? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, just, let's just see what, what Blitz has for us. I am actually interested. Pounding... Oh, I thought I said pounding IRL. I was about to say, hey, yo. Free for awesome. That's, uh, yep, yeah, mm hmm. Bleed them quickly. Low budget prison. I'm gonna try and find something cool. Thunder Cakes. Pause. I forget what Valda does. Doesn't she like create like Cosmo Surges or something? Whenever an opponent draws a card during the next phase, create a Cosmo Surge. At start turn, if you can tell them which are your cards you own with Crush Gain Dominate. So, you get Cosmo Surge by your opponent's drawn cards? Oh, I assume like you have cards that both people draw. So, like Coke, Coke so you would. Okay. D Tome, you would get it. Uh, push on Luck, just you. Except just you. Alright, 
I mean, are we just trying to? I, I, I guess I guess we're just trying to at least get three so we can. Oh, dude, let's just play this. I don't even. I don't even care anymore. Let's just let's just play this. Let's do it. I, I, I think the smart thing it probably is actually just leave this game lobby. Join game. Please don't be the one I just created. I will get upset. Oh, hey, we did it. Wait, what? Uh, that's not how that works, but okay. Alright. I'm here to take over the blitz, same with Alda. Uh, we'll be live streaming tomorrow, by the way, guys. Um, some, uh, some PQ season practice. We have two more days before the first bit of practice happens. Ooh. He's just kind of going ham, huh? During an action phase. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let's just, yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. He's gonna give it a go again, and like, probably plus one or something. Wait, what? What? Huh? What? I'm a little, uh, I'm a little blown back here, let me be honest. Dude, he won't say anything and it's got me like, nice arachnid. Wait, was this the dash? I mean, obviously I don't know because it just says player one, but like, how funny would this be if this is the dash? That, that actually just sounds hilarious. I think that might be it, because there's like no way, right? Because there's no one in the live stream. Uh, unless maybe they're a person I play tested against, like I played them a few times, possibly. Okay, this is such a good and bad at all. This is such a good and bad hand, by the way. The one that we're about to draw. Like the potion luck, I kind of want to play the potion luck. I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to play the potion luck. So I can Thanks. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't know what you want me to do there. I kinda have to play the card. Yeah, I kinda had to play that card, doggy. Alright. I'm gonna hope I don't get unlucky here. Alright, so I kinda got clapped. I mean, I guess I can mangle, right? Yeah, I guess I can just mangle. Mangle isn't really great. I... I <laughs> sure. I mean, I just gifted you a car and you're blocking. That doesn't seem like an equal trade for me. I feel like I helped you out. I will say this. Um, I, I hope he attempts to kill me here, because, oh, well, that's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we have Gogan? Oh, we do. God dang it. I might. All right, so we haven't seen blood on our hands, so I think we're probably, like, chilling, all right? 
So I might just save up and like spawn all this dude to like Narnia. Do I spawn him to Narnia? I think I think we do that. This, this gets blown in our hand, so that is something we do need to keep in mind. I'll just get the counters. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm going to throw a hint. Okay, when you have three, gotcha. Um, no block. I have panel on coming in hot and hard. I also didn't want to turn the prize. Alright. I'm just gonna go and crack my knuckles here. And uh what's uh how's that one song go? I want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Like I'm the only I'm gonna disable you, like extremely hard. Goodbye, soldier. Alright, love and dominate. I would love to see you. Oh, yeah, you have crown. Oh, yeah, you took it back. Crap. Yeah, okay, in this specific episode, it's fine. been better, but I kind of forgot that he, uh... I mean, I guess it kind of accomplishes the same thing I wanted to. I, I want this card gone. I don't want him to be able to tutor. Blood in our hands. Uh, even with a card block, it's still hitting. So if he doesn't want this to hit, he's going to have to block with the Courage. Uh, which obviously just nukes his equipment, which is what I want. And he's still taking some damage. I was trying to figure out, like, I don't know if he's someone that just like looked, watched, looked at my deck. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me see. Oh, there's only the three games that uh, this version has been played. By the way, undefeated, undefeated. Yeah. Oh, we just. Oh, we just let this hit. For seven. Oh, we just let it hit for seven. So cool. Oh God, no! I mean, thank God for the double. This. All right, so I'm probably screwed. Going to be honest, probably screwed. I mean, we do have the seismic search here. All right, so. I think. Okay, so he does that. Okay. Um. That's the case. Probably just let the first one hit. TBH. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit big, isn't it? Alright, good thing we can go boom, boom. Uh, let's, I think, I guess we just use both of these, right? Fate. Uh, I mean, we wanted a blue. So I think we... I think I keep it just so I can make the seismic surge. Because, like, sinking and playing G-Tome kind of accomplish the same thing, except there's a little extra benefit from actually just playing the G-Tome. And this should call us four, right? So we just send Spinal Crush. Uh, it's not dominated, unfortunately, and it's not lethal. Uh, we do ask the question: Would you like to take a lot of damage? All right, we get two cards out of him. That's that's what we wanted to see. Uh, unfortunately, if he just breaks Courage here, I mean, it's kind of bad for us. We do get to meet him with a D React. All right, so it's just have to go again. Could blessing? Yeah, that's actually fine. We don't want to see pulverize. We do not have the means to really do anything with it. Um, we do have one second search popping. We have three, so this actually goes down to three. Could be an argument to playing mangle. It's definitely going to get cards out of his hand. I think I actually just play Mangle. And it's also lethal. 
But like, how many cards does he block with? Is the question. So let's actually think. Let's let's think about this. So, why is this just attack action? Yeah. So we play the mangle. We swing eight. This is lethal. We will need a response from our opponent. So he has two. If he walks with these two, then a card from hand. That's five. He does so. He doesn't get crushed. Only takes three. Goes down to five, but it still has two cards in hand. But I think the upside of this is this. This leads us getting clapped. Yeah, if we can survive, I think we just. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I would like to keep this right just cleansing, but I just don't see a world where I can pay for it because I'm gonna have to block most likely. Two two blocks is also absolutely horrible. Uh, this one's I mean not is not also not a card I can physically. Did he play Sickle? I just seen the S and I was like this fucking guy. <laughs> uh, one more time. Uh, first one gains one. Second one gains two. Oh. Oh my. Do I not block this? I, oh god. Actually, hold on. Hold on. I need to do some mathies real quick. Alright, Buckle doesn't actually do anything, it just forces through damage. So I'm trying I'm just trying to see some here. So we we need to be able to buckle plus that. We need seven resources. Three, five. Okay, so we don't have that many resources in the first place. So I think we I think we just hope we don't get clapped by something horrible here and we don't have to block. Alright, well, he had the glint. Not much we can do. We do get Seismic Surge, which actually helps. Okay, well, that doesn't help. Oh, okay. Alright, so, uh, remember that time I got to keep cards in hand? Uh, yeah, no, never mind. No, I don't. Uh, yikes. So, we're gonna take two, but we get to gain three. So, it ends up. Like, I, I don't know, but I think I'm actually up life, or some real life. Like, to the point where I might just play this blessing again. Like, I'm not going to run him out of cards, obviously, but... <sighs> this feels so freaking awkward. Like, but it's still so awkward. Like, I feel like I've already been through, like, a barrage of attacks, and, like, <laughs> I haven't. It's turn six. It's just that, that low life total just... Kind of makes that game feel like it goes by so slow. Alright, let's hope he just doesn't have like some lucky reprise. Alright, run through, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Alright, hit and run, not as fine. So we're going up to 8 by playing this. So effectively, we get taken down to 2. Is that what I'm looking at here? We effectively go down to 2. I uh, could Anthos here, but oh god! I think I actually have to take a chance here and just sickle up to eight and go down to two. I think I actually have to mangle him here. Yeah, I think I have to mangle. It just makes him have to block with cards. It's just how many cards does he choose to block with is the question. Because, like, there's a lot of hands he could have right now that could just kill me through, like, anything. That does five, takes me on to three. And keeps a three card hand plus courage. The courage is like the issue, right? I mean, it's actually, is, is there a better option to turn? Because as long as you can pay for the first saber, like your second one's free. I wonder. Alright, gives me Valent, but the nine one doesn't really matter. And he still gets crushed. Actually, I just hit the courage, right? Okay, back, he's back now. He probably meant to block different. And maybe he noticed that it's so crushed. I mean, he might as well block with courage. Because, like, when the combat channel... I'm, 
I'm literally just going to hit courage. And the combat change when I'm closing, it's going to die. Except if it crushes, it's dead. So I, I feel like you might as well just block with it. Unless he plans on blocking with more cards from hand, which I'm totally fine with. If the same thing happens, I'll be weirded out why he chose to undo. Okay, so he just ends up blocking with the courage, which is kind of like what I said. The same thing was happening. He was losing his courage. Uh, Cultural luck is not the, the thing to draw. Luckily, we get the simple to paired with it, so we get a little less punished. Dude, there is just no way. Sorry, you literally you went like this. Oh, he's just choosing to take six and go to two. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Preserving the lime tunnel, huh? That's fair, because, I mean, like, a, a, a sword swing is just lethal. Does he have to be able to go, give it a go again? It does not. I think that's sink this. Alright. Um. Oh, God. Unfortunately, I can't tear. If I, this was a blue, I could tear a Sunder Anthos, but I can't. I think I gotta get lucky here. I don't. I mean, I don't know how I was supposed to get lucky, but yeah. Yeah, I think. I think he. I think he uh, has this. No, I gotta play better, Blitz. I don't like the dynamics of Blitz. Just feel weird. Yeah, you can just freely take this. There's no reason to not take that. I mean, I got a plus three. Oh, okay. Goodbye, everyone. There's the bleed on your hand. Should we choose all options? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ever know what it feels like to play... Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're just dead. So we're just extremely dead. Does he have the blue? Yeah, he has the blue. They always have the blue. Alright, then we will... So we'll... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Alright, there's the rest of the cards on my hand. And you'll still do one. And swings in. Yep, GG. Yikes. Alright, let's look at the turn saga. Did we win any turn cycle? I don't think we did, right? We won one. We won two turn cycles. Yeah, it's not fantastic. Let me let me see what else Blood has to offer. Before we actually end the stream. Actually, what's Clash after all for, actually? Is Clash, Clash any good? I haven't actually played that much Clash. Oh, yeah, this is legal because it's... Different. I don't know who this is, by the way. Am I mugging? Uh, not really. I don't really feel like mugging anyone. So, wait, what's legal in Clash? Uh, wait, do you not have Ragamuffins? Why would you sideboard that? You you should just play it. So I assume what's not here, just, uh, Storm Striders and Aether Wildfire, I assume. Dude, let's just play this. I don't even care. Wait, is it actually 20 bucks? There's no way. Wow, it's actually just 20 bucks. That's crazy. I mean, the deck's cheeks, but... I mean, can't really get mad at that. Uh, but... If we can find something interesting before the game starts, we'll play something else. 
Um, like, low key, I might just play Prism. Yeah, I might just play Prism. I, I mean, I have a Blitz Prism deck. Yeah, we'll just play a Prism. Oh, yeah, this was the deck I got top. Uh, top eight with in the card guys blitz well uh show match tournament probably was go back I'd change a lot about this but that might be for a different day uh, we're here to play prism because prism is op like what happened to my playlist or what's going on well, if you guys have songs recommended for this, these are mostly songs that, like, YouTubers have had. Like, songs that I think that are pretty gas. Oh, let me, let me actually just leave Lobby. Oh, God, this is mine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I like how there's now CC games when there wasn't before. If you can... You cappuccinos. Wait, dude, there's a lot of games going on right now. What in the world? How does Blitz Kano look? Is Blitz Kano broken? I assume not. But is it? Kano without Striders. I mean, isn't... Isn't Striders banned? Am I slow? Am I slow? Here, well, here, let's do this. Bam. And then we'll load up uh, Prism and see which get to, what gets the game first. Alright, one of these two games will get a game. I know that made no sense, but shush. Well, if you guys want to run the disc, this Discord, it's, I mean, it's mostly supposed to be for a local community, but man, you've grown this community pretty fat. Let me, can I, can I do this? It just makes it bigger. Okay, cool. All right, face and five. That's, that's gotta be cap, right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Time skipper. What in the world? Wait, is this a thing? Is this actually a thing? Time skippers? Wouldn't Mage Master just be so much better though? Right? Is not Mage Master better? There's just I there's just no way. I mean, like what are we playing where that's not just simply better? Because they're pitching a blue, right? And then we're asking ourselves to play at something that usually, that, that, like this costs mana. So if we, like, we pitch like a, even a yellow to Mage Master, then play this, like we're fine. We pitch to Mage Master, play Lesson, like we're fine. I don't know. Well, it's a good thing Aether Wildfire is back, because dear god, dude, Aether Wildfire plus like Fork Lightning was a fucking combo. Negate target instant with cost more or less. Oh, that's probably for chain. That's probably for chain. Oh, uh, y'all really gonna make me just go to bed, dog? What's going on? Y'all really trying to make me go to bed right now? I wanna get a game in. I wanna get a game in, dude. Wait, four one cost three? Eight. Nah, it's cat. I mean, yeah, it can get buffed, but, like, that just seems egregious. Because, like, you can't even, like, Crucible Fork Lightning. I'll just say at two mana, it might actually just be broken. Because, uh, like, it then it turns, like, a two for four, then, like, a two for six, and then if you start buffing it too much, it kind of gets crazy. But, like, three just, I don't know, I don't think that's where you're going to be at. 
Like, you were at the block, and, like, fork lightning is what you're returning, like, with no buffs. Oh, 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 we found one. Alright, boom. My opponent has been selected. Alright, let's get it. So against Benji, we really want to we want to be on Herald, the Herald plan. We want to be on the Herald plan against Benji. I just need to remember this read. This is uh, attack and control. Two list cannot be defended by cards from hand. All right, so this is just a lot of like unblockable damage, pretty much, right? Oh, Vestage is probably going to be, like, really nasty with the specialization. Um, I would like to, if we can time it right, just play the parable, but I doubt we will get a chance to. Alright. I don't know if we could Achi. I think we just take that without even thinking. Pitching a Salty one, that's good for us. Uh, we will need to block... Which means we'll have to pitch both of these to. Uh, this is probably where I'd want to block. Yeah, that's, probably, that's the most efficient place to block is in the middle. So now we were looking just to kind of take whatever we can. As long as there's no go again, we'll just play out the parable. Uh, unfortunately, that is at go again. You breaking it? You breaking it? What's, what's, what's going on? We, we, what are we doing here? Oh, wait, we're actually breaking it. I was just joking. I was joking. I mean... Sure. Sure. As long as it's not the Benzie specialization, we are we it. Like, even though it's a Brown Herald, like, obviously just getting to play a Parable is pretty good. Oh. So I looked at it and I was like, ah, I was like, ah, crap, I think it's a busy socialization. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately we just cannot let this hit. Uh, do I... Yeah. Clapped. Right? We just clapped them. We just clapped them. Because now we get to do this. I wonder if the play was to block with Tunic there. Hmm. Thinking emoji. Oh, we got the yellow? Sweet. Uh, so what is our turn looking like? I think we are probably. Do we are we playing the are we playing merciful? So let, let me let me think of what's better here. So this is two damage versus. Okay, no, I I just did the math. Never mind. We're alright. We did it. We figured it out. We did the math. And uh, six is greater than two. Especially if this hits, it's it's so big if this hits too, because that's just another one damage. And like, yeah, like if this hits, there's a lot of upside, but I I think I think this hitting and getting a shield is just better. Oh, give me the card. Give me more cards. Give me more. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Unless you have a lightning press. Wait, no, you're you're uh, you're a ninja. Uh, what can ninja have that does? Uh, would, would, would raise a reflex do it? Actually, actually, if you're a reflex, I don't care. I don't really know what I, if I care about any of this. If he puts two cards in, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that equipment, baby. Let's go. And I still get to swing. Ho oh, ho. 
one damage. One damage, I said. One damage. One damage. Well, is this is a safe hand, right? Okay, so it's actually my best interest to arsenal this to react. I figured that's how it read. I just did want to make sure. All right, this hand's not great, but I think as long as our opponent does something stupid, we'll be all right. All right, cool. So our opponent did something stupid. Oh, he's showing a parable. Okay, no, no, he's showing. Um, can I swing him blue ward? Am I? I don't have a yellow. Ah, oh, this is actually so awkward. Am I? Am I meant to play the passing? That doesn't seem right. Swinging passing does not seem correct. I'm gonna keep this blue. So I, I'm, I'm able to footsteps, Ironhide, and Oasis for spite with the blue. You slaying this hit, dog? What's going on? We're letting it hit. You taking a big five? Hey, take the five. Let's go. We do draw the yellow. So we're we're doing all right. But yeah, just one blue is gonna suck up so much damage. Ooh, yellow head jab. Absolutely devastating attack. I do want to do this now in case he kadachis. It's a little more efficient to de-react that than a kadachi. Um. Obviously, depending on how he mixes things up, could get punished by that. We do have the Oasis Respite, so we're not doing too bad. He's gonna not throw us with an actual attack, but obviously we are going to just simply block it no matter what it is. Uh, he has no chance of doing damage. Uh, unless I'm just absolutely missing something. Life for life? Blue life for life. That is not what I was expecting. I mean, I guess the idea is, uh, do I have a red? I do. Uh, I kind of want to keep it. Maybe I pitch the Oasis, actually. Hmm. Uh, so let's see here for pitch yellow if I'm floating. Keep the blue. I kind of have to keep the yellow, right? In case this hits. And I kind of want to arsenal the oasis. Yeah, it's not efficient, but yeah, I think this is correct. If he has like a pump, I mean, that's fine. All right, cool. I mean, Joe Carter, if that's all you got, and it is a red. That is the absolute best thing we could have seen there. I don't believe Benji would have poppers, but maybe Benji does have poppers. Uh, we do have lethal this turn. We're coming in for 14. And he only has two block with his armor. So we're looking pretty good there. Ah, my alarm. I'm wondering if maybe Benji does have a popper. Nope, no popper. Oh, D-react. What? Really? That, uh, this, this just seems weird. I don't know, some of these plays just seem weird. And why don't you block with Mask? Why don't you block with Mask? I feel like that's a pretty cool thing. Or you can give me two cards. Because, like, you're no closer, 
closer to killing me this uh, on the, your next turn than you were last turn. No, that no, there's just no way, right? What, dude? He was he's so punished about a yellow. He was just he's so punished about a yellow. He is so lucky I don't have a yellow. Oh, I mean the game is officially over, so GG. GG. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, part of me actually, I'm actually just gonna block it too. I'm gonna keep this Spectre shit around for a minute. Oh, you mad, dog? What's going on, you mad? Mad? Alright. We're gonna do a little bit of the old trolling here. Oh, do I have a blue? I do not. That sucks. We don't have to have a blue. Alright, swing him again. Alright, here we go. Big damage, no money, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Alright. Uh, you swung through times of yet to do damage to me. And you still don't even have mask. And where, where's the concession at? Oh, ancestral apartment? Damn. You really got me. He got me, guys. He ancestral power meant up to two power. He's gonna do one damage to me. Dang, I can't believe I didn't play around that. <laughs> uh, that's why. That's why I love Prism, dude. That's why I miss her in CC. Should have played her more. Go, break it. Go ahead. This is your one shot. You ain't getting another turn. This is your last turn. You might as well break it just for the lulls. Dude, break the breaking skills too. Break it all. Break it down. If you understand, you understand the reference. Uh oh, yellow hunter wins. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, he has a son. Uh, he has a he has a son of pickle now. Whatever shall we do? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, I pass blocks. Oh, what the. F Eh, whatever. I, I I meant to block, but it's fine. It is fine, because I could have blocked with footsteps, but... Eh, I ain't worried about it. I'll just block with footsteps on the, uh, on this. Oh, how's it going again? Wow. Value... Dude, I'm telling you, just hear me out and break it. Just break it. Break it. Be a man. Alright, um, so your free trial of life has expired. Alright, it's five dominate. Hope you got D react. But uh, I expect to see a GG here in three, two, one. Alright, so you made me look bad there, so I'm gonna give you another chance. Three, two, what? Oh, uh, are you blocking? But son, you're dead. I don't know. I I don't got the answer for you. I don't have that answer for you. Well, I'm kind of bored. I was just gonna take a nap, but or go to sleep because I gotta get up. It's definitely responsible for me to go to sleep, isn't it? But is that what we're gonna do? Is the question we all gotta ask ourselves. By the way, it's under a thousand dollars. One of the few decks under a thousand dollars, by the way. And like, here's the thing, right? So hear me out. You should have a tunic. If you're a competitive player, you should have a tunic. You probably should have your CNCs. I know they've spiked recently, but you should probably have your CNCs. So like, what else is expensive? Like, surgical instructions have one up. But I'll be completely honest with you. You don't even really need to run them. You really don't have to run them. It's just obviously more optimal what you do. This runs to me. Like, this whole section right here, right? 
You can just put a blue block through in there and you're chilling. And then if you do that, the rest of the deck is super cheap. Like, we just cut 500 plus dollars by just taking out two cards. Skullcap, all time low. Iron Hides, they're literally pennies on the dollar. No Rune, pennies on the dollar. Spider Bites, they're tokens. And then, like, the rest of this, like, you, you have your D Reacts. You have a few cards that are, like, a little bit pricey. Like, this is a Majestic. You may not have to leave the Witness. But, like, Rose is like, dude. Just put like a generic attack in there. You can put some like E-Strike in there if you just have an E-Strike. Like you can fiddle with a lot of these numbers and still come out with something. This is just currently, keyword's currently the most optimum way I have found to play it. But you definitely have options. You could bling out this deck and it'd be $1,300. Where's that coming from, by the way? Let me see. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Fair. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, if you guys came through the stream today, appreciate you. If you guys are watching this uh, VOD on YouTube, you guys should come to the stream. Come to the stream. We need you. But it's been your boy Simon from Siphon TCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.